Hello friends, my name is Coolio and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're taking a first look impressions video for the newly released English version of Perfect World Mobile. Now this game just launched over in Europe. I don't know when the North American servers are going to be coming out, but they did mention hopefully within the next couple of months. Now I've got a lot of nostalgia going into this game. I played the original PC version of Perfect World a really, really long time ago and I always kept coming back for their expansions and so when I found out they were making a mobile version of Perfect World, I was super pumped. And so I have played the Chinese version, but I was really excited for the English version to come out so quickly after the Chinese one. Usually I feel like a lot of the Chinese games take such a long time to come out. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna go ahead and jump in and show you guys some of the character customization. I went ahead and made an Untamed. However, I gotta let you guys know right now, one of the biggest things that you guys are not gonna like and I don't like is that there is gender locked classes and race locked classes. So if you wanna play as our barbarian, you're gonna be playing as a male untamed. There isn't a female one in the game right now. And uh, when it comes to customization too for the untamed race, there's a couple of different presets that you can pick from, but when you actually get into the customization itself, they only have the body preset. Like you can kind of move some of these sliders around, like make your guy, you know, a big boy like this. And then you have the option to customize the color of your animal transformation for the untamed. However, for the other races in this game, there actually is quite a lot of character customization. So let's go ahead and jump over to the winged elves. Now let me show you another example of the gender and race locked classes. So if you want to play as a cleric, you're going to have to play as a female winged elf. If you want to play as a ranger or I believe an archer, you're going to have to play as a male winged elf. which. To be honest, it does suck. That like limits so much customization. Like we are getting to the point when it comes to a lot of these MMOs that there just there needs to be a lot more options to it. Even these mobile ones. Now the character customization in the game for a lot of these characters is actually quite decent. There's a lot of you know sliders for each of the different characters and stuff, just like in the the original one. So you can go through, pick different hairstyles. You can pick different hair colors. Like if I want to go some light blue tints with some dark blue purple hair. Uh, you can get facial hair, you can color it, I can have like a, like a red mustache, a red mustache, oh my gosh, a red Hitler mustache for my character. <laughs> uh, you can adjust the lip sizes, you can put lipstick on your character, you can, there, there's a lot of customization options when it comes to this game, just like in the original one. So, if you want to go through and make like the weirdest, freakiest character that you possibly can, you totally can. Look at this, you can change the different eye colors for each eye. There's a lot of character customization when it comes to at least the humanoid classes and races in this game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump onto my untamed character. The last race is humans. If you, I guess I, could, I can show you the humans right now, show you what the classes are, uh, male or female. But I believe when it comes to the humans, let's see. You got the, uh, I want to say mage, sorcerer, wizard. Okay, wizard. And then this other one right here is a uh, lancer warrior. Hold on, we'll see. Let me... No, 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 go back, go back. Ugh, these stupid intro animations. Uh, whatever, let's just go click on this one again. So these are the two classes. At least with these ones, there are male and female versions for the wizard, but not for the blade master. So, keep that in mind. So let's go ahead, we're gonna head back. We're gonna jump on to my moose. I made a moosin. He's awesome. I love the Untamed. It was my original race when I played the original game. So, obviously I had to make a moose character because I love Canada. Here I am in the Celestial Veil. This game is beautiful. I do have to say I am running this on max settings. It is a fantastically beautiful game. But I do want to let you guys know that there is some um, worrying concerns that I had with it with performance wise. Even dropping down the like some of the settings and things like that. I ended up not having the best performance with the game. And I think that might be because I'm in, the, I'm in North America and this is the European servers. Now one of the first things I want to let you guys know is when it comes to a lot of these mobile games. Usually they have like a very decise and clear way to get to the dungeons because the dungeons is where like the fun is. This game doesn't really do that. I had to kind of search around and find it, but if you see that flag on the very bottom left, just below where my main quests are, if I click on that, it'll bring up a lot of those dungeons. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and jump into Phoenix Creek right here, doing some auto matching and hopefully be able to jump into uh, a team. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead. Hit go, we want to go, let's let's go ahead and jump into this. This is an experience dungeon to be able to level up very quickly. My character is going to go ahead and teleport. Now the reason why I'm jumping into a dungeon so quickly is because this game has a heavy auto play to it. And I know some people aren't going to like that. Specifically, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Now, usually I don't mind if the auto play isn't super 
what do I say, aggressive in a game. Like if you can turn it off and then still have a decent time playing. This one you can turn it off and you can manually play. But I don't know if it's because like I'm in North America and the game is in Europe. But I feel like the controls of the character just does not feel very good. Like it's it's not comfortable to play this game. I've played other MMO games. In fact, I just re-downloaded an MMO game that's very similar to this. But I found I was having so much more fun in that game just because of how well it ran again that could be just because of my connection issues so this is an underwater dungeon that my character is going through I'm playing with a bunch of other people and things you can see like sometimes it glitches out here and there as things load up but I'm gonna go ahead and let this kind of auto play so you guys can see some of the combat and talk a little bit about the features of this game now you do go through uh, a lot of story with this game as you're kind of mainly following the story there's underwater combat there's above you know ground combat there's flying combat there's a lot of stuff when it comes to that especially if you've ever played the originals a lot of it will be really familiar the one thing i was actually surprised about is there was actually quite a lot of english dialogue in this game now you can switch it over to the uh to the chinese dialogue if you want to i just found it really surprising for this mobile game that there was a lot of english dialogue a lot of english voice acting specifically so we're going through this dungeon. We're doing a pretty good job. We're going to take down a boss in just a little bit. Uh, the dungeons do take a little bit of time. Uh, not a lot of time. A little bit longer than I'm usually used to for these mobile games. Uh, but while my character's going through and smashing some heads and doing some damage and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the system menus, specifically starting off with the enhancement menu. Now, the enhancement menu has all of the equipment that you currently have equipped onto your character. Uh, and there's different ratings. You know, there's rare, normal, epic, all that kind of stuff. Now, as you're going through the game, you're going to be acquiring Mirage Stones. Mirage Stones, you get quite a lot of them, but you use them to enhance or refine your weapon. You can see my Purgatorian, whatever this weapon is called, uh, is at a level 3. Now, I can go ahead and try to refine it, costing a thousand of my basic silver pieces. However, it is going to, there is a 65% chance that it's not going to work. But it does say this refining failure does not affect the level. So if I go ahead and try to refine this, success now now that i've got it at plus four it says if i fail at it it will drop back down to a refining of plus three so just keep that in mind i do have to say though one of my other things i really enjoy so far about this game is as you do get equipment like new weapons and armor and stuff some of them do end up changing the look of your character i do really really like that i like games that allow my character to kind of visually progress the other thing too when it comes to progression is the soul stone system the Soul Stone is basically gems that you can implant into your weapons and into your pieces of armor that will give you passive bonuses. So this one gives me increased physical attack, this one gives me increased HP, as well, along with this one as well. Now there is a lot of other things in this game. There's a lot of achievements that you can complete, that you can go through and you get rewards and basic in-game currency and things like that. There is also another system, uh, the Cultivation System, which is a really interesting system too because I didn't fully understand what it was but basically as you level up and progress your character you unlock these nodes that you can then go into and then spend basic currency to unlock a lot of these things but the interesting thing though is a lot of it is not translated to english just yet so we're going up against here's the shark lord this is the boss i am going to go ahead and uh, get out of the menu system so you guys can watch the fight against the boss uh, and i do like the fact that there is a good amount of the ui that you can hide but I still feel like the UI in this game is really cluttered and isn't the best UI that I've seen in one of these, you know, in one of these MMOs. So here I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and just turn off auto and see if I can't do somewhat of a decent job. I'm going to go ahead and dive down a little bit. Now my character has a couple of different skills. I've got this spinning attack skill so I can kind of move around uh, doing like a whirlwind attack. I've got a jump attack where I smash the ground and then a variety of other ones as well. So I'm just going to do a basic attack. Now one of the things that I found that was a little bit difficult with this game was trying to figure out who I was targeting. There is a little targeting reticle thing that you can swap between. But I was having a really hard time with it going through one of the dungeons and trying to attack the exact character I wanted to. I felt like the targeting, even if the, the monster was like close to my character, it would then select monsters beyond that first and then you have to like kind of go through a weird rotation before it got to the one that you actually wanted to fight. I don't know, it was kind of a weird situation, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't take down the Shark Lord. We're super close, 20% life left. Go ahead and increase my, I think that increases my attack, let's see, I don't even know. Oh, hold on, what does that say? Focus his courage into a mana bolt that deals physical damage. Oh, okay, never mind, that's not what I thought that did. <laughs> okay, let's do this, let's finish this off. I do like the fact that there is underwater combat in this game and flying combat. I think that's super cool. There's not a lot of games that do that. So hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of equipment items. Actually, no, this is an experience dungeon, so we're not going to get equipment item. 
Uh, but there is some of the dungeons that you can go through. You can get a lot of like the really good stuff. Uh, we are about 90% done with this dungeon. I believe we can go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and click on. Uh, I think we have to go and gather these things down here. Or maybe. Oh, we have to attack them. That's right. There we go. Let's do it. Let's take these guys down. Die, Azure Toad. Die. 90% complete and 100% complete for the dungeon progress. Let's see. So my character currently right now, uh, let's see what we ended up with. We didn't get any rewards, but I think we should have gotten some good experience points for, uh, for my character. So jump through the portal and back into the real world we go. Now, the auto questing in this game is really, really straightforward. It's not a lot of fun. Um, I mean, auto questing in general isn't a lot of fun anyway. But there you go, guys. That is my first impressions for Perfect World Mobile. Is this a game I'm going to keep playing? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I've found other MMOs that are similar to this that I've enjoyed a lot more. And it might just be my performance issues with the game, which could be cleared up as the game, you know, launches in North America, as it launches in other regions, as, you know, as they do patches and updates. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date in the latest in mobile gaming. Okay, friends, I'll see you next time.